On Monday, Jack Grealish and his girlfriend Sasha Atwood made the announcement of their first child's arrival on Instagram. The 29-year-old Manchester City player and 28-year-old influencer, who have been together since childhood, tweeted a cute black-and-white photo of their baby daughter gripping his finger. She was sleeping soundly, gripping the attacking midfielder's finger, snuggled up in a knit blanket and patterned baby growth. Jack shared the adorable name and September 27th birth date of his little bundle of love. He wrote, Mila Rose Grealish September 27th, 24. The couple exclaimed, calling the time they spent with their newborn the most special moment of their lives. Sasha shared the same image and wrote, September 27th, 24 Grealish, Mila Rose, the most memorable experience of my life. Jack was not present for his team's one-to-one -one draw with Newcastle at St. James Park, the day after Sasha gave birth. The forward did not play in Manchester City's 4-0 victory over Slovan Bratislava in the Champions League last week. Since then, Jack has made a comeback to the field, helping Manchester City defeat Fulham at the Etihad this past weekend. Upon seeing their Instagram post, admirers and the couple's famous acquaintances flocked to congratulate them on becoming a family of three. Megan, Jordan Pickford's partner, wrote, Mila Rose, you are perfect. I love you so much already. Auntie Megs is really excited to get you tutus and pretty socks triple X. Huge congratulations. Tasha Guri and Zara McDermott, two Love Island stars, wrote in response to Danielle Lloyd's compliments to the two of them. Since they were 16 years old, Sasha and Jack, an English star, have been together. Jack posted a picture of himself cuddling Sasha's expanding baby bump on Instagram to reveal Sasha's pregnancy. The England football player captioned the photo, saying, Life's biggest blessing. While Sasha responded, Half of me. Half of you. Beyond blessed. It happens after Sasha shared in a series of photos that she was having trouble finding clothes that fit when she was seven months pregnant. While Sasha loves her bump, she admitted in a video that it has made it harder to select the ideal dress. She clarified that not every occasion calls for sweats and comfies, particularly when attending a joyful meal. Sasha also faces difficulties with footwear. She acknowledged that, although she had previously survived the summer with sandals, it's not summer anymore. The model has supported the football player throughout his career, and this is the latest milestone for the couple who have been together for 12 years. Sasha's career has taken off and she has participated in advertisements for several brands such as L'Oreal, House of Fraser, Boohoo, and of course Pretty Little Thing. After Jack had a challenging season, missing out on the England squad for Euro 2024 due to many injuries, the couple has spent even more time together. But Sasha enthusiastically gushed over Jack following Manchester City's Premier League success in May when she shared a loved-up image. Happily, in August, Jack was formally added back into the England team. When the Manchester City player was away at Everton on game duty in December, robbers broke into his £5.6 million residence and stole an estimated £1 million worth of jewellery and watches. When the break-in happened, his long-term partner Sasha was at home with 10 family members and promptly triggered the alarm at the residence. Helicopters and dogs were sent in to conduct a large search. Reports state that a month prior to the attack, the burglary group tried to break into the mansion, but they were driven away when they saw a police car approaching. Given that seven months have passed and no arrests have been made by the police, a source claimed that Jack is still on edge regarding the circumstances. Jack is afraid they won't be discovered, they stated. He was really upset by this. It had a negative effect on him and his family. No one has been taken into custody after seven months. Although the police claim to be still looking into it, there is genuine concern that they may have left the nation. Jack worries that they'll do it again and that they won't be caught. After the final whistle of City's Boxing Day 3-1 to one triumph at Goodison Park, Manel Estiart, the head of player support and protocol for the team, told Jack about the raid. The player hurried to the dressing room through the tunnel, his face etched with concern. Speaking on the topic for the first time after the match, City boss Guardiola said, The family was inside. It is what it is now, modern days, with many things happening. It was a difficult time for him and his family, but thankfully the family was unharmed. According to the reports, a number of professional burglary gangs from Brazil, 
Mexico, Peru, and Chile are believed to have targeted the exclusive neighborhood where he resides in Cheshire. Jack is not the first football player in the Premier League to have experienced raids. In recent years, Joe Linton, Victor Lindelof, and Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang have all had similar experiences. I am so devastated by the break-in at my house that I cannot even begin to express my feelings. Jack posted on Instagram following the incident. Nothing is more essential to me than protecting the safety of my family, who I hold in the highest regard. Everyone has experienced trauma from this, and I am incredibly thankful that no one was harmed.